Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you some of the large brush pens that I use a lot with my worksheets or just for brush lettering. So I classify the brush pens into two sizes basically, the large, and I'm talking about the tip of the brush pen, the large tip, which this is, and the small tip. So we'll look at the large tip first, and so all of these pens here have a very similar size tip. One of the pens that I use the most is called a Tombow. So let's just do a comparison. This is a grid sheet that um, you get with my worksheets. So here is the Tombow. And I'm going to use them on, on this, um, all together on this one sheet, try to, so that you can compare the size of the brush, the brush lettering. So you can see with the Tombow, the flex is really good. You can get your nice thick and thins. And now um, let's take a look at another popular brush pen, and that's the Sakura Koi Coloring Brush Pen. So these are also great to use with my worksheets. So I'll just do that. Now the Sakura has a little bit of a smaller thick line in terms of the flex and all of these pens actually that I'm using are a little bit soft so I'm not getting super super thin hairlines but that's okay I always recommend using the pen no matter what soft frayed or whatever so there's the Sakura and then um, I'm going to show you a couple of Kurataki brush pens. So the one that is most similar to these two are the brushables. And the brushables have two tips. So the brushables have two tips in two different color tones. So the blues is a dark blue and a light blue. And then there's a scroll and brush. So the scroll is fun for other kinds of calligraphy. It's this type of tip. And... Uh, the brush tip is similar to the brushables. So let's take a look at the brushables. And then I will just write out Kurataki. I find the flex of this brush is very similar to the Sakura. But it's kind of fun to have actually two um, brush tips in one, in one pen, in terms of blending and so forth kind of rushing here so when you're practicing don't go this fast all right there's the brushable and then um, the last oh, not the last one the next one I'm going to show you is a sharpie now if you watch me on uh, Instagram you've seen me use a sharpie pen but it's uh, the much bigger brush pen like this I'll show you that the, this in a minute uh, this is the stained by sharpie so the stained sharpie brushes are actually um, meant for fabric but a lot of brush lettering artists have been using it just on paper and it works just fine it's quite stiff so you do have to push fairly hard um, but what's great about the sharpie a stained pen is as opposed to the other brush pen I'll show you in a minute is that it doesn't um, bleed through and it doesn't smell. So that's a bonus. And the cap is super tight so it doesn't dry out either. All right, and the next pen I'm going to show you, or the last of this category of brush pen, is a Marvi Uchida pen, and it's the Le Plume 2. So this is a double tip. It has a very fine um, tip on this one end and then the brush tip on this end okay so I'll just write Marvy I just recently got these these Marvy brush pens and uh, they're nice they're fairly stiff but I can't really say I like give you a definitive answer on um, whether to use them or not because to be honest I haven't used them a lot myself so that's the Marvy pen. Now Marvy actually has another pen. I haven't seen this online, but I'm going to share it anyways. It's called a Colorin, just for fun. Um, 
I was given a, a few of these to use by Marvy, and it sounds like a person. So, and the flex is just bizarrely huge. So that Marvy's actually Marvy Uchida. So that this this soft big flex is actually a lot harder to control if you're a beginner. But all the other pans above are pretty good. Isn't that crazy? There. So would you use this pen? Like I said, I haven't been able to source it online, but I got it at a trade show in January, and it's it's kind of fun. Okay, so uh, here is the other Sharpie brush marker. So I will just write um, a pen here. And this has a really big flex, so that's fun. However, it does bleed and it is an alcohol-based marker, so it, it, well, it smells quite a bit. But that's the comparison. So do I recommend these with my worksheets? No, but they're a lot of fun. And the last pen is the Ecoline brush pen. It's a water-based pen, so, but it's quite thick. Now, as soon as you get into the Sharpie and the Ecoline pens that are much, have a much thicker tip, I don't know if you can notice if it's how thick it is, but the thicker tips, they are harder to control. So just so you know, a lot of you are attracted to the thicker tips. Even here, I'm kind of not in ideal conditions and I can see that it's not working out that great, but it's still a beautiful, thick brush pen and it's great for watercolor as well. So. This, these two pens I don't really recommend learning with, but I mean, it's your choice. You can do what you like. So those are my large brush pens. Okay, let's take a look at the small brush pens now. There's basically two small brush pen brands I use. I mean, there's many other brands that you probably know of, but uh, these are the most common ones that I use. So the first three are the Tombow, um, the Tombow Funasuke pens. These two have a black barrel and a blue barrel. The black barrel is a little bit softer. So I'll just show you that. Let me zoom in a bit. And I'll write with it. Hopefully, I, oh, this one's a little bit dry, but that's okay. So these definitely are my go-to pens and these work great with my worksheets for the small brush pens. All of these pens do. So there's a Tombow Black. Now, I'm not sure about the, the blue is much thinner lines, but um, you can also use this with my pens, sorry, with my worksheets. Now, when the blue is used a lot, it does soften and it looks similar to the uh, size of the black. Let me zoom in a bit. All right, and the last one is the Fudunisuke Twin Tip. So you have a gray tip and you have a black tip. Again, similar size. So I'll just write out gray because it's just a different color. And honestly, this gray tip, I don't know, I love it. Probably if there's one pen, I small brush tip that I would use over and over and over, it would be the gray tip. But because it's gray, it's a bit light, so it's not as easy to see. And along with those uh, three Tombow pens, I do use the Pentel Sign brush tips. Now the Pentel Sign brush tips, uh, what you should know is there are two kinds of Pentel Sign pens. And so if you're shopping or you're online, I know a lot of people have um, found that they have purchased the wrong ones. So the other Pentel Sign pens do not bend. <laughs> They're just regular um, nibs. So do not make that mistake it's so frustrating when you're kind of expecting one thing and you get another so there is um, and these have a sparkly barrel so just make sure you can see the sparkle if you can't see the sparkle it will designate it as a brush tip so these come in what these are great about what's great about these rather is they come in different colors i think there's 12 but I'm not exactly sure. So that is a lot of fun um, in terms of brush lettering. 
So there you have it, small brush pens for my worksheets and large brush pens. Uh, here's an example of a worksheet part of it. I'll just zoom out again. This is from my connection sheet, so this would be great for the Tombow, the Secura, the other large brush pens I showed you. Um, and then I'll just show you how they all are perfect for this size, the Sharpie, brush marker and the eco line are a little bit big for this but you can definitely try them out i did design these with the tombow um, dual brush pens and then for the small brush pens i also have connection worksheets i'm just showing you the connection worksheets but i do have alphabet lowercase and uppercase for both sizes of brush pens as well as um, drills and, and the words which I call the connections. So with the connections, you learn how, after you learn the letters, you learn how to connect them and join them to make these pretty words. So there you go. Here are, this is all the information that I have for you about the pens. Thanks for watching.